Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, this is going to be a really candid conversation with everything that's been happening around social media and why I have been posting really less these days, especially on YouTube. And I know I've gotten really irregular, but I'll get into that later. But yes, I just want to say hello, welcome to my channel. And I hope you guys are doing really good and had a really nice summer and it's raining. It's a monsoon season in Mumbai and if you are from India, I hope you guys are taking good care, especially the condition that's in Himachal. It's really bad and if anyone's from Himachal listening to this, I hope you are good, healthy, safe and sound. Please do take care. So yes, today I wanted to talk and actually I don't want to apologize for not posting because I think um, for me posting on YouTube or Instagram in the middle, it kind of became a chore and art is something that I am really, really passionate about and I love it, especially the art that I do for myself because it talks and it's a reflection about what I'm going through and what I'm feeling and I didn't really want to make it a chore and when it came to a point where I was just doing it for the views or the likes, not that it's a lot but yeah even those five or six likes or ten likes really mattered to me and it still does obviously but recently with even this new app thread coming into play and it just sunk into me that there is a lot to catch up on there is so much and it just feels that all these meta this you know the twitter and everyone like you know, these big people or the big corporation or whatever you want to call it, right? They just want us to be stuck on our phones entirely and that's not my purpose and that is not what I want to do because that is not why I started it. I started creating for myself. I started doing art the way I've been doing right now for myself because a little backstory of why I started the illustrations that I started back in the time when back in 2021 um, I, it was in a really shitty phase of my life and the only thing that honestly speaking got me out of it was my art it was me um, just playing with my brushes on a blank canvas and I just ended up creating an artwork and it evoked something in me and it really really made me feel that fiery passion in the work that I was doing because it was that year where I had quit switched jobs and the very year I again um, quit the job that I switched into after working uh, two years in corporate and yeah I was really unhappy and because I was seeing, especially in my workplace also, like, you know, people had their own voice. Of course, there were seniors to me, but, you know, it was kind of a motivational push that it made me question myself and it made me question why I'm doing it and why I started creating in the very first place or what am I even creating? And that's when I understood where I stand and what I wanted to do. And that's what pulled me out of that dark phase usually how it goes for a lot of artists because when you're in the darkest point in our life and it's just something that hits us and art is something that really brought me out of it and now recently it feels like that it's the same art that's putting me into that spot again and that's not what I want to do honestly and uh, I laugh as I say it because now I can look back and actually, you know, compare both the situation and how similar it became, you know. At one point, art pulled me out of it and now it was again pulling me back into that sinkhole and I'm glad again because the clarity of my artworks gave me that because I was just going back through the artworks and it made me realize that, okay, Samran, <laughs> your work is getting way too dark. And I recently did notice and a lot of people around me also told me that suddenly your art has gotten really, really dark. And yes, like I said, my art that I do is the reflection of the way I'm feeling and 
the way I perceive the things and thoughts around me and that's exactly how it became because especially my artworks I think um, Monster or The Guild or The Burden of Growth all these uh, recent title series um, gotten really really dark for me and also because of that um, thing that I was going spiraling through my head I did not finish 36 days of type and that's something that I was it was it was a very hard decision it literally took me a lot of drag to even finish the letter i think um x y z love ending two three letters and i know the struggle it took me to even get up and create because i was just completely drained i did not and also i hate this stupid ugh ugh i just want to beep it because i was about to curse Instagram because yeah Instagram is shit especially with my own personal account it is so so bad and i have just now given up on it now i just post for these adorable little audience that i have of 100 people because i i say the number 100 even though it shows 3k on my account i just get 100 active people who actively you know comment and like and reshare and share their thoughts about my artwork so i think that community of 200 people or max 150 that's a lot if i were in a room with 150 people oh my god i will be just overwhelmed so i'm very happy with uh, that community that i have then i just posted for them and i love that and now that there is this another app threads it's it's nice it's fun but i know for a fact that <laughs> i won't be able to you know keep up with it uh for a really long time because i think i'm very comfortable with instagram and i don't want my life to be social media and that's why even eventually i started slowing down on youtube especially with my mango series also because again no motivation honestly even though i'm extremely passionate over mango but it feels like why there is no that fire right and i'm sure it will spark again of course i think is just dull down right now because it's tired of burning for so long and it's okay it will happen again but maybe i think i might be taking a pause on that series as well and just being more honest and trying not to create a facade that i have i have it all together because i really don't i just create for myself and i want to keep doing that and i don't want any kind of algorithms uh views likes or people commenting you know take that away from me and that passion away from me so yeah and i also just need a break from everything i feel i just i tried getting away from the social media recently had gone on a trek and that really didn't turn out the way i wanted it to be so it was just adding on to a lot of stress as well so i think i'm still recovering from that and trying to get my head and wrap things around it and i want the second half of the year much more positive and emotionally healing for me because this past 6 months were completely emotionally draining for me especially when it came to my work because i was constantly immersed in my work and i was i'm really grateful for that but sometimes it's a little bit it's a little bit too much because keeping up with my tapsy store being on il uh, be it the illustrations that i do for my instagram for tapsy account and maintaining the tapsy store maintaining the tapsy website youtube youtube videos youtube editing putting sound audio doing freelance with my job is just a lot a lot for me right now and i think um i just want to take a really back back seat not even be on the passenger or anything just be on the back seat of the car and just just see where the journey is going and just take it one day at a time just finish the amazing project that i'm working on right now and i'm really enjoying it even though i don't get to showcase that side and it's okay for me but i really love the projects that i get to do and on the side wherever i get time for myself especially i usually i'll get to illustrate only late in the night because in the day i'm completely packed with work and then i come back home i do the uh, you know commercial work and everything and the night is when i get time for myself but these days i've just been very sleepy <laughs> it's probably my body telling me you need to calm the heck down girl but yeah this is the story so far and i think um 
if you really want to see the new work i really want to share the illustrations and the process that i do because i try a lot of fun new things in my illustrations but yeah if you if you just want to look at the time lapse or anything i think i can do that without the audios and just put put a beautiful music or something or yeah i really do want to stay in that especially on youtube because youtube has been very healthy it's not as um, toxic as how instagram and especially this entire meta thing has gotten for me but yeah i just wanted to have a really open hearted candid conversation of what's everything that's going on in my head and i think um there's a lot i want to say and i don't want to drag this conversation for a few more hours but this is just a little gist of what's happening and uh, i will be back i will be coming back with some really nice work as well probably just post old works which i have been wanting to post since one year now uh when i say one year yes i do have time lapse and illustration videos of the work that i created last year i will take it out today and every, all the work is just piling up one together one together and now it's become a huge mountain but yes i am going to climb up slowly slowly and get there soon but thank you so much for listening to me rant and just telling you guys what's happening and what's it like to be an artist in today's day and age with everything that's happening so yeah i think i just want to tell you guys like don't let this social media world and everything get to you you know just create for yourself and do what actually makes you happy and do what you love and don't make the algorithm rule how you are as an artist you should be ruling it and not otherwise so yeah i hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this conversation and if you have thoughts on if you have dealt with it or gone through this also do let me know it really helps and feels really good and safe when we are sharing these kind of stories and i think that's what i like about my community also even on my instagram where we just start a conversation and it's really fun so thank you so much i really appreciate each one of you especially all 467 followers all the subscribers of mine on youtube i am truly truly grateful for you and it makes me so happy that in one year have come so far but it's my small journey and i'm really grateful for it so thank you so much everyone i really appreciate you guys please take care and have lovely monsoons ahead especially all the indians out here and everyone else out there have a lovely time and a beautiful month thank you guys bye